Aloha and welcome to this episode of HNN Overtime, the Hawaii News Now Sports Podcast. I'm your host, Kyle Chinen, and as you can see, if you're watching on our YouTube channel, this is not the studio. We are out here on location here at the University of Hawaii at Manoa as the Rainbow Warriors are in the thick of fall training camp. We're talking to head coach Timmy Chang and wide receiver Dior Scott today. Let's take you to those interviews. Thank you again so much for uh, sitting down with me. Um, four weeks into camp, you know, getting closer to kickoff. How have you kind of seen the evolution of this team so far um, in these four weeks? Yeah, they, you know, it's definitely a different team from spring. Um, but those guys have, have had a lot of practice thus far, a lot of reps, um, a lot of seeing themselves on film, um, you know, being able to make corrections, being able to understand scheme and fundamental and technique. And so um, it's been good. It's been good. You just don't, you know, you just don't know how they're going to react into that first game. And, and when the bullets start flying, you're going, to, you're going to really quickly find out what type of team you have. And, you know, throughout camp, you're only going against each other, right, day in and day out. And sometimes, you know, tensions can flare. Things get, you know, kind of heated out there. How have you kind of seen this team almost bond together in these moments to, you know, make that team chemistry a little bit tighter, that, 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 brother, that brotherhood a little bit tighter um, as camp goes on? You know, they're, they're out there competing. They're out there fighting against each other uh, for, their, for, their, for their positioning to win their battle, their individual battle. And, it's, and it's, a, it's, a, it's a violent, it's a tough game. It's physical, right? And so, you know, tensions are going to flare. But uh, I, they do a good job of just leaving it here on the field, understanding that hey, at the end of the day we have each other's back. And when they take it to the locker room and they take it off the field, um, you know, the camaraderie is really tight. And, and I appreciate that about these guys. Right, and you know, season tickets for uh, this year have been on sale for a while now, but today um, uh, individual tickets have come out uh, on sale online. Um, just a message to the fans that um, have not bought their tickets yet, and you know, just your message to the fans before um, these tickets go on sale. Yeah, you know, we, we want a full stands and, and we want a lot of energy. We want people to come out and enjoy the atmosphere out here um, and, and come see their team play as they represent them in the state. And you know, a lot of conversation again going back to the football side of things you know obviously the quarterback big conversation piece here um, throughout camp how have you kind of seen their progression that room how they've kind of taken that competition and and kind of ran with it you know it's uh it, it's an ongoing uh battle you know um you know different guys you know do do a little bit better on 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 some of these days for whatever reason whether it's matchup whether it's uh you know just kind of you know the, the the way the cards kind of fall out. So um, we're we're still evaluating these guys. We're still hoping that uh you know um, that these they continue to get better and 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 one two or three of them uh, would be able to take over the reins. Gotcha. And you know you obviously a former player here at UH as well. You know how long camp can kind of feel. Um, any uh, when and then when those times when you're not on the field right you have those the so cert, certain times of downtime what is something that you like to do to kind of unwind or relax you know when you're in the thick of camp just to kind of get your mind off of things or just kind of you know decompress every now and again you know I'm a big family guy and, and we have a lot of coaches and 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 even our, our team they're, they're, they're we come we're family oriented team and so you know anytime we're not here we're with our families and and that's that's what keeps us grounded that's a, that it reminds us what we're doing and what we're doing for and and those are the most important people in our lives and so um you know when, I, when i'm not here in the office or with with the, this team uh definitely at home with my little young ones and my wife right and you know a lot of young ones as well snacks probably a lot in the in the household as well um Going off of that, we're going to keep a little light here at the end of this. Um, favorite snacks that you kind of have during camp, maybe you have a little stash in your office, you kind of snack on during film, things like your little guilty pleasure here and again. You know, it's been, um, I think, Famous Amos cookies have been one of them, um, as well as uh, uh, Black Forest gummy bears right now. And so we're a big Costco, big grab type of uh, staff up there. And, uh, and, and of course, uh, some of the sport, some of the sports drinks that people have donated probably can't say it on TV and there. Yeah. But, uh, but, uh, but, but some of those things. Um, but you know, the Sodexo has done a great job of feeding us. Uh, <laughs> the, the food is so amazing, and um, you know, these guys have been getting bigger 
you know, and, and that's a, it's a testament to Sodexo. It's a, a te, it's, a, it's a testament to our community to coming out and, uh, you know, the fundraising and, the you know, the NIL with the, with, the, with the Brotherhood Grinds and the HRA. I mean, these guys look great. They look like they're in shape. Um, you know, they're, they got enough protein. They got the things that they need to go out there and battle. And now, now it's just going out there and doing it. All right. And, you know, one more week, right, until uh, kickoff almost, or it was about 10, 10 or so days, right, mm-hmm. till, till kickoff now. Um, do, do you kind of feel that anticipation? Do you feel that kind of buzz in the air right now as, as the, the countdown to kickoff gets closer? You know, as, as I guess in this, this new position as the head coach, you know, you just want to make sure I've covered all my bases. You know, I keep, I keep asking, you know, the corners, I keep asking our DFO, our, our chief of staff, and just making sure every detail is covered. And, um, you know, we just got to get out there and go play the game, but making sure we cover our bases and we covered everything with these guys and, and uh, make sure that we're healthy and we're ready to go uh, come the first game on the 27th. My last one for you, Coach, before I let you go, your message to the fans as you guys get into the last bit of camp and then into the season, your message to the fans. Yeah, come on and uh, come on and watch these guys. You know, I know uh, millions of people will know what they're doing on this field here, on our on our university campus. And uh, you know, we love to have a great environment. You know, I know that they get pumped up and they'll they'll feed off your energy, uh, whether you're here on campus with us or you're at home cheering cheering us from afar. But uh, but they they've been putting a lot of work in, and um, you know, I'm really grateful for these boys, and uh, I'm really grateful to be coaching this team. All right, guys, we're here with Dior Scott, wide receiver for, from the University of Hawaii. Thank you so much for sitting down with me. Thank you for having me again. Thank you for having me. Of course, man. So, you know, we uh, four weeks into camp now, we kind of getting through the grind of everything. Um, so far, receiver group and yourself, how you guys been kind of doing throughout these four weeks? Uh, we've been progressing throughout these four weeks. So every week we have a new goal, stuff like that. So now this week is just trying to get the catch and make explosive yards. Not, not trying to get tackled by one defender, stuff like that. So we have new goals every week. Um, I feel like we're progressing. Uh, I feel like August 27th, we will be ready. We will be at our peak. And we're just, we're just really excited. Right, and you talk about that incitement, you know, the countdown to kickoff is within double digits already, right? I, mean, I think I can remember just it felt like yesterday was 100 days, right? <laughs> right. And now we're, what, at 12, 11 days till kickoff? Right. Can, can you feel that excitement throughout the entire team, kind of that buzz knowing that August 27th is almost a week away? Oh, yes. Uh, we Every day we talk about it. Uh, you can see our practice, the intensity is so high. Defense is going to tackle us. We're going to try to run through them. We're just trying to make the play because we're just so excited for August 27th because we got a chip on our shoulder. And I, that's one thing Coach Sheffield always says in the special teams room is have that chip on our shoulder. And I took that mentality and put it as on our offense group. So August 27th, we're just really ready. And you know, for yourself, you know, um, you know, you you have the the you know nickname Stray Dog, right? Stray Dog got to eat. You know, everybody kind of knows that as. As that's your mentality, but you kind of take that to heart, right? That's it's not just a name for you. That is yeah. that is something you take to heart and you bring out onto the field every day. If, if you don't mind explaining, you know, kind of the mentality that you take onto the football field. Oh you know, yeah, so I just gotta. Uh, we always have a little saying now, like you gotta have that dog in you. And it's funny, like straight dog means so much. Like I got it, I got it tatted on me, stuff like that, the paw print, stuff like that. So it's uh, the mentality is like you gotta come every day to eat. Because you don't know when's your last meal, you know, when's your last opportunity. And people really don't know what you go through. So you got to make sure everybody feels you in every play, every snap. Like, don't take this for granted because nobody, like, this can be taken within any second. So I appreciate this opportunity and I take this, I take this serious. It's not a game. This is really my life. Right. And all the while, you know, always smiling. Seems like always having a good time. You know, you're having fun playing football, correct? Yes. Um, talk about that, you know, just being able to just kind of, um, you know, have fun with it. I see you sliding down the hill and <laughs> dancing, you know, hit, hit, you know, dancing uh, during practice and just having a good time while you're out there. Once again, this, uh, I take that from my mom. My mom was telling me to just enjoy the little things and me sliding down the hill is me dancing, just really me enjoying life. Once again, I'm here for football. This is a business, but I'm in Hawaii. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to live life to the fullest, stuff like that. Always always smiling. Uh, everybody going to see this pretty smile I have. <laughs> but, you know, it's just, just really just having fun because, once again, this is going to last. And everybody's going to see my smile. Everybody's going to see me just having a good time, stuff like that. Right. And, you know, you mentioned being here in Hawaii. Um, off the, let's, talk, let's go a little off the field. 
kind of the spots you like to hit maybe if it's a beach or um, we'll get into food in a little bit too but yeah just kind of your favorite spot on the island you like to kind of frequent when you know you're on your off time you don't have to really focus on football okay so Sandy's and when I first came here Sandy's was like a big spot and then I went to Juan Manalo but now I'm, I'm not getting like North Shore like I went to IA to watch the Kuku football team practice and like I like that side a little bit more better um I like the west side too. I'm just like I just like the whole island. I got, I came in, I came in to you know, describe it. Just I just love everywhere. This man, my beach is a backyard. Like man, so anywhere I go, I'm, I'm in the ocean stuff like that. Oh, there was a new one I just found. Uh, Pupu Ek. Uh huh. Did I say it right? I, I think so. Yeah. It was like a little beach I discovered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, I might have to go there. I know it's in Makalei. Uh -huh. I found it, what, last week, so that might be my new beach. Nice little spot. I like it. And then, obviously, I, I, I do follow you on socials as well. You know, you, you mentioned going down to La Ie, right, to the North Shore. You know, you're part of the Red Sea. I, I know <laughs> you have found your team here in the islands. Yeah. Just kind of talk about that, being able to support, you know, Kahuku, but then also other local teams like the Little League boys out there right now. And, and just being able to, you know, support these, these, these kids here on the island as a University of Hawaii uh, athlete yes so i want to uh i came into the island i want to make sure everybody knows me as like not just oh dr scott the last chance you started or the football players like dr scott is a person so really know me from from my inside story and stuff like they really get to know me see how really goofy i am how really immature i can be at sometimes stuff like that so me uh finding a high school team just relate to them and tell them my little story on my high school journey and stuff like that. Even like like little league team. Uh, I know I was with the Metro Tigers helping them out, stuff like that. Uh, the Honolulu boys, when they went to the um, Little League World Series in Kahuku. I think the reason why I chose Kahuku to be my school because when I went there, they just showed me so much love. And so I, I had to give back and stuff like that. So I still interact with the, some of the Kahuku players from, from today. And it doesn't, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't help that they, you know, had a really one-sided blowout win <laughs> to open the season right Man. against Kamehameha. I know you have I know you have some Kamehameha guys on your team yes. this year well I, I saw that video of you guys picking you know who's gonna win states <laughs> this year um but yeah that that must be fun right to you know have a team and to be able to kind of banter right with your teammates in the locker room and then right. just really just reinforce that bond which you know has been very evident this season so far of just the the bond, the brotherhood, right, yeah. that you guys have uh, within this team. Just elaborate on that. Ah, uh, the brotherhood meant me so much. It's not just on the gridiron, just means off the field. And it's not just within our locker room, it's for the whole state, stuff like that. Uh, another example, outside our locker room, uh, shout out to the Zao family. They, and they denied me, they brought me in as a family, stuff like that. So that's what the brotherhood really means. It's like one family, one state, one school. It's really all supporting each other and really just for the end, for the bigger goals, not just, just for us, for everybody. And we will do another side pivot. My bad, I forgot it. We didn't even talk about this. You know, we talk about places here in Oahu on the island. Let's talk food, right? Hawaii, known for its food. Um, your favorite local food and a local spot that you, you know, you, you frequent quite often. Frequent quite often. Ooh. I know I just discovered, I didn't just discover it, but Side Street Inn, that's mm -hmm. a pretty there good spot. Is. I tried some new stuff. Um, it was like um, pork poke, stuff like uh -huh, that. Uh -huh. And I found out poke is not raw fish. Poke means cube. Yep. So I didn't know that. So uh, finding that out, that was pretty good. Uh, Poke is good. The Kalbi, Kalbi is pretty good. The Masubis are pretty good. But I've been having Masubis since back at home because we have an right. LNL spot back at home. Yeah, that's right. Uh, you know, uh, it's a lot of foods that I really can't think of on the top of my <laughs> head right now because I have tried so much. Uh, I know a guy uh, introduced to like Huio, uh -huh. Huio, or like it's like a whole lot of bunch of stuff in it. I don't, I forgot what it was, but it's just so much stuff in the island. And what's funny is I'm a picky eater. I'm right. really picky eater. So if, if it don't look right, I'm not going to touch it. Uh -huh. But out here, just coming to Hawaii, like expand my horizon, tasting different food, stuff like that. So I'm pretty grateful for it. Kalua pork. That's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, man, I had that for Thanksgiving. The Thanksgiving out here is so different from right, what I'm used right. to. Yeah. But I must have got really appreciated. But, you know, just trying different foods and seeing what I like, what I don't like. Right. And let's just... Take us back to the football side. We also were already talking about the August 27th kickoff coming soon. 
your message to the fans um, with, you know, less than, you know, almost less than two weeks away from kickoff, your message to the fans? My message to the fans is uh, support us, support the stray dog and the, and the gang. Uh, we're going to have fun. We're going to put on a show for you guys. Uh, it's going to be exciting. I don't, it's, it's so much I can say, but I don't know what to say right now. There's so much. We just... We're just ready for you guys, and I know it's been a long time since everybody could come back in, so hopefully we can have this, this stadium packed out. Are we going to see a lot of uh, sneezing this year? A oh, A lot yes. of touchdown dances? Yes. Are, you, are, you, are you switching it up every time, or is okay, it just yes. going to stick to the sneeze? So my first touchdown, because I haven't scored here yet, my yep. first touchdown, I'm, I'm a sneeze, yep. and then I might get the 15-yard penalty. I might get chewed out, but hey. It's worked. It's my first touchdown. Hey. And then, so I'm going to go from Smeezing to Big Step and once a, mm -hmm. a whole lot of the Bay Area culture, there bring it go. to Hawaii and stuff like that. So, yeah, hopefully a whole lot of Smeezing, a whole lot of Big Stepping. Awesome. Well, I appreciate you, man. Thank, Thank you so you. much for coming Thank on. Thank you. The Thank you. Talking. Well, that's going to wrap things up here in Manoa. Thanks so much again to head coach Timmy Chang and wide receiver Deer Scott for sitting down and chatting. To listen to this episode of H&N Overtime or any of our other episodes, you can head to Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever else you get the rest of our H&N podcasts. And to watch, be sure to check us out on YouTube. That's going to do it for me. Aloha.